Hello Maidens Bridge Straits and St Mary's, it's Miss Calderbank from Dudley Performing Arts again and welcome to lesson 8. We are going to learn to play a piece called Calypso today, get us in the summery mood, so enjoy the lesson. If you haven't got a recorder, just sing along like normal. Have fun! So now we've listened to Calypso, we're going to learn how to play it. Now the piece begins with four bars rest. We've done this many times now in our other pieces. So remember, we count one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Remember to do that before you play your first note on your recorder. The first section we need to play on our recorder uses a special rhythm called syncopation. This is a rhythm that is slightly off the beat. We can use words to describe how we're going to play this rhythm and underneath the notes you'll see I've written in banana tree. That is the rhythm of this section. Have a listen to section two. So you can always hear in banana tree, in banana tree. Pause the video and have a practice of section two. Section three begins with our syncopated rhythm again, like we've just practiced, the in banana tree rhythm on our C's. Well, the ending of this section is slightly different to what we've been playing before. Have a little listen to section three. So we really need to pull back on those final G's as we slow down on the rhythm. Pause the video now and have a little practice. Section four begins with a dotted crotchet. This is a one and a half beat note and you'll see that these happen three times in this section. What we need to make sure that we do is the second note of each bar is in just before that third beat. So have a little listen to section four. Pause the video and have a little practice. Section five is very similar to section four at the very beginning because we've got our dotted crotchet and the A, A, G, G rhythm again, but the ending is slightly different. We're finishing on a four beat note on that D note. Have a little listen. So lots of air to make sure we can last that four beat note at the end. Pause the video and have a practice. In section six, we're back to our in banana tree rhythm. Have a little listen. We're starting on the G note this time. And the ending on those Gs, we're just playing three and a nice long one at the end. Pause the video and have a practice of section six.
The final section of Calypso is very similar to the tune at the start. We've got our syncopated rhythm again in banana tree and we're using the same notes as the beginning. Have a little listen to the ending of Calypso. And it's really important that you count that bar's rest towards the end so that we can come in with our final G notes in time with the rest of the music. All I did was count to four and then carried on with my Gs to finish off. Pause the video and have a practice of the last section of Calypso. So now you're feeling comfortable with all of the syncopated rhythms, all of the notes that we need to use in Calypso. Go back to the Calypso music at the start and see if you can perform it all the way through. Remember to count those bars rest before you begin to play your first note though. Good luck!